Hello guys, I'm Fastan, a Rainbow Six Siege Twitch streamer and caster. In today's video, I'm going to show you some Malusi Banshee spots on ranked maps. Malusi is a really good operator to make it harder for attackers to push a certain area. We all know the whoop whoop sound and screen shake effect that Malusi brings. We have to keep in mind that Malusi's Banshee will get a rework somewhere in year 6. This rework will mean that once an attacker is in the activation radius of the Banshee, the attacker can shoot the Banshee to destroy it. This means that we'll have to be smarter when it comes to placing the Banshees and placing them more out of sight. Some of these will be out of sight and some of these won't. On the first map, Oregon, I have a setup for the downstairs objective. I usually place a Banshee on the big tower stairs. This is a common pressure point if an attacker tries to get control over E-Box. If the attacker has no utility to get rid of the Banshee, they have to push down far, exposing themselves to multiple angles from both Pillar and E-Box. The second Banshee is placed in Freezer. There are multiple options for this one, but a well-hidden one is in the sink. The Banshee in Freezer can also be on the wall. Because the Banshee in the sink has a small radius, it won't always affect players walking in Freezer. If you place it on the wall in Freezer above the sink, then players will either have to use Utility or have to jump up on the sink, exposing themselves to a person sitting on this first box in Freezer. The final Banshee goes into the blue bunker. If you don't have someone playing in the extent or elbow, you can put it in the middle of blue as the attackers will have to take the entire blue bunker. If you have someone playing in extent slash elbow, you can also place it on the wall towards the shield, which is very likely in the extent. This makes it really hard for attackers to push that small hallway when there is a banshee and a shield with a possible defender behind it. For the upstairs objective, I usually put a banshee on the top of white stairs. If you place it around here, the attackers have to expose themselves to angles from kid storms before they can melee the banshee. I place the second banshee on the attic hatch. If you place it on the left side of the hatch and then open the hatch, the attacker has to either use utility or move further in attic to destroy the banshee as they can't melee it from the right side of the hatch. I place the last Banshee in Dorm's main hall, because usually this is a common pressure point for attackers if they want to push through Trophy or the Breach in Games Room. This Banshee gives good sound calls that an attacker might be pushing here. Another plus is that the attacker is exposed to a lot of angles when pushing Dorm's main hall. On the Coastline Hookah objective, I place a Banshee on the VIP hallway. If you get up on the plants, then walk into this part here, you can place the Banshee. I usually place it when crouched. This will affect any player walking in VIP hallway. I place one Banshee on the billiards table, which is a common pressure point if attackers want to plant default spot in billiards. You can place the final Banshee in hookah. For example, on the bar, on the floor or on the wall to the right side of the door. An alternative would be to place the Banshee on the cool vibe stairs. If you place it on the wall towards Hookah, an attacker has to push up far and expose themselves before they can melee the Banshee. For the kitchen objective, I usually place the Banshee above the service entrance door. Attackers won't spot it, or they have to turn around to destroy the Banshee. I usually place one in the middle of kitchen, close to the window. I usually place the last one in sunrise slash kitchen hallway, next to the sunrise door. If you get up on top of the plant, you can place it on the wall, so attackers will have to use utility, or get on the plant to destroy this Banshee. On Clubhouse, for the CCTV objective, I usually place one on the rafter stairs. If attackers want to take rafters, they have to be careful for the rafters and possible lines of sight from cash towards these stairs. Top red stairs is also a common pressure point, so a banshee on top of those stairs is a good idea. 
you can either place the final banshee in construction, so you know if they'll pressure that, or you can place it on the CCTV shelves towards the breach. If they open the breach, usually players want to push through the breach to get a default plant spot behind the bomb in CCTV. They have to be careful for top red stairs, this banshee makes it harder to move past top red stairs quickly. For the church objective, I usually place a banshee on this fence unit. If you get up on the table and then walk onto this chair, you'll get a spot to place the banshee on the fence unit. This one is only destroyable with utility and it will affect players walking into church. I place another one around the main stairs. This can be on the wall, so if attackers push it, they'll have to expose themselves to the hallway. However, if an attacker like Ash or Zofia pushes down the main stairs, she can easily take out the banshee with utility. This is why two alternatives would be to place it on the wall next to the double doors or place it on the floor next to the double doors. I usually place the last banshee in blue either on the floor or on the unit. This will give a sound call if players are coming from blue stairs or oil pit. For the next map consulate, I have a set of banshees for the downstairs objective. I place one on the yellow stairs, which is a super annoying one. Attackers want to pass this doorway towards the yellow stairs fast, but the Benshi will stop them from doing that. I placed one on the top of this car here, so it'll stop attackers from walking into the breach. I place the final Benshi on either the bottom of spiral stairs or the bottom of visa stairs. Both these banshees will give a sound call of where attackers are pushing from. It will also stop attackers from pushing in as fast as they might want to. For the lobby objective, I place one of my banshees on a table in lobby, which has a range towards the entire lobby door. Attackers will have to use utility to destroy it or push into lobby, which exposes them to multiple angles. I place another banshee near the statue at the spiral stairs. Place this banshee on the floor and the range will be towards both the teller's hallway door and the Zulu or benches door. I usually place the final one on the yellow stairs next to the soda machine. This stops players from getting into yellow and piano undetected. And it stops them from rushing the objectives from here. For the top floor, I usually place one banshee on yellow. It will alert defenders that someone is up on the yellow stairs. I place another banshee on the CEO desk. Usually attackers will rebel into CEO and go for a plant behind this desk. This will make the defenders aware of the attacker's position and it'll slow down a possible push and plant. I place the final banshee on the visa stairs. This is not necessarily a common pressure point, but it will give a good sound cue if attackers are pushing those stairs. On the next map border, I have a banshee set up for the armory objective. I place one banshee on the floor close to the breach. Attackers will have to walk into the breach to get the banshee, which will expose them to half wall and a small box or office. I place this banshee around beepers so no attacker can rush up there undetected. I place the last banshee either on the wall next to the office door or I place it on the floor in fountain. If you place it on the office door, attackers will have to walk past this doorway before they can destroy the banshee. On Chalet, I have a setup for the downstairs objective. I place one banshee next to the snowmobile, so it'll stop attackers from walking into the breach undetected. Another banshee is placed on the basement hallway wall. If a player wants to walk past Trench to the wine cellar door, they will be affected by the banshee. I place the final banshee on the main stairs. Attackers cannot sneak down main stairs and surprise defenders with this banshee. On the upstairs objective in Cafe, I place one banshee in Secret Shop. This is an area where attackers quite frequently push from, but it's also a dangerous area for them because there are plenty of angles from new hatch, piano and bar where they can be peeked from. I place another banshee on the bar so attackers cannot walk onto side easily. I place the final banshee on the white stairs. This is a good way to be alarmed if any player pushes white stairs or rotates halfway through the round. On the next map, Canal, I got a set for the downstairs objective. I 
place one banshee next to the trench door. Same story as how this works in trench and chalet. I place one banshee on the main stairs. And the final banshee is placed around scuba. This way, all general attacking ways are covered by banshees, except for the hatch and lockers. On to the one to final map, Villa. I have a set for the aviator objective. Attackers will likely try to take control over study, so a banshee next to the study door will help the defenders a lot. Another banshee is placed around the bar door, so attackers will be affected from both ways of the bar hallway. You have located a bomb. The final banshee is placed towards landing, and this set will cover all usual attacking ways for this objective. Onto the final map, which is Bank. I have a set of banshees for the officer's objective. I place one of the banshees on the 45 corner next to the janitor's door. This is a doorway attackers usually want to walk past quickly, but the banshee will stop them from doing that. I place one banshee on the table in conference room, which has a range up until the double door. The final banshee goes on the table in front desk, not really reaching towards the double doors, but it will cover an area that's good enough. These were all my usual banshee setups. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite or which one you're going to use in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.